Hello everyone, in this video I am going to demonstrate the whole process of Workday Data Conversion tool which consists of two parts, Peoples of Data Extractor and Workday Studio Load. This is how the home page of the Peoples of Data Extractor looks like. Here we have all set of different modules whose data can be extracted from the legacy system. We just need to click on one of the checkboxes next to them and then click on run button. The process scheduler request prompts appear on the screen and then select OK. The extraction process starts running on the background. To monitor our running configuration, we need to click on the process monitor right next to the run button. It takes us to the process monitor window where we can check the progress and status of the running process. We need to keep on refreshing the process by clicking on the refresh button at the top until the run status and the distribution status changes to success and post it. To check our output file, we need to click on the details which takes us to a new window of process details. Click on the view log trace and we will get the zip file carrying the data gathering workbook. Click and download the zip file. The excel file is password protected which have multiple tabs for different modules and data extracted from the PeopleSoft will go to the corresponding tab. This is all about PeopleSoft data extractor tool. Now we are moving forward for part 2 studio load tool. To start with the studio load process login into the tenant and search for the integration. All the integration name starts with the prefix apirio underscore dc underscore int. Each integration has some attribute and we need to configure them if we want to utilize this functionality. Launch the integration through the related action of the integration system. There will be three launch parameters, retrieve file from SFTP, second input file that is pick a file from the local machine and third is validate for required fields which will validate the data in the dgw file for missing values. After clicking on OK, background process page will appear showing the status of the integration. When the status is completed or completed with errors or failed, indicate that the integration has completed its processing. Look under the message tab and check for the number of success and error count. The output file, error or success log file will be under the output tab. The error and success log file are in the same format as input file having all the columns of input data and last two columns will be status and message indicating the exact message of the error if present. This is all about workday data conversion tool. Thank you for watching.